We have been uh, for weeks now uh, daily uh, having significant briefings with Dr. Bonnie Henry and Minister Dix about the health consequences, about public safety and how people should respond under the circumstances we find ourselves in. That remains the case. Dr. Henry is available every day for extensive uh, Q&As with the media. Uh, this is uh, broadcast live on many uh, networks. Uh, we are doing everything we can to have up-to-date information in the public domain as quickly as possible. And we'll continue to do that. And if there are requirements for improving that distribution of information, we'll certainly do that. But at this point, based on the powers that uh, Minister Farnworth has laid out, Based on the work that we've been doing, again, it's a cross-government approach. We have been all hands on deck. Uh, we've got to the finance ministry working on packages to make sure that resources get to people and to businesses. The Minister of Housing is working on making sure we're addressing the hard to home, those who are concerned about their rent and concerned about their mortgage. Uh, and and it, this carries right across the board. The Minister of Tourism and Culture working with uh, film and cultural organizations who have seen uh, an elimination of their industry literally overnight. Uh, there, there's uh, a whole host of things that we're working on day by day by day and getting that information out to the public as quickly as possible. If there's need, uh, need for alert systems, the minister will uh, deploy those. At this point, we believe that the public is responding very, very well. Uh, there are some outliers, and those are the people that Mike was speaking about in terms of their behavior, in terms of selfishness, their behavior in terms of disregarding the law as it's been articulated by Dr. Henry. Uh, if there's a need, uh, the minister has the powers to invoke uh, uh, new, new mechanisms, uh, but at this point, we're comfortable with the way we're going from here.